Okay, just now I mentioned the we mentioned the pinyin initials, finals, and the tongue. Now we have learned this word, ni hao. Now means hello. Let's get this. Chinese people we use ni hao to greet with each other, like this conversation, ni hao, ni hao. And do you find this? Ni hao. Actually, these two syllables are third tongue, but I read them not ni hao. I read ni hao. Do you find it? So, it is because if there are two third tongues in a syllable, the first third the first third tongue should be changed into the second tongue. So actually, I should read ni hao, not ni hao. Okay, but uh, ni hao. When should we use it? Now, if we are uh, two strangers, it's the first time we meet with each other. In this case, we can use ni hao. But between friends, we seldom use ni hao as a greeting. Nowadays, young people, we can also say, "Hey," like this, "Hey, ni hao." No. Wait a moment. We can use this word, "Hey." Uh, it's the same with English. Hi, ni hao. Okay, now let's look at the new words and dialogue in lesson one. First, these four are new words. The first one, ni, ni, means you, but it's a singular. If there are more than two people, we should use ni men, ni men. It also means you. But it's plural. Men. Men can be used after a pronoun to represent plural. Ni, singular. Ni men, you, plural. And another word for you is ning. Ning, this one. Ning. Ning is a polite way to express you. Sometimes. If uh, the other is older than you, or um, the, uh, someone you should show your respect, like the doctor, your teacher. In this case, we should use "nin." Nin. It's a very polite way to say "you." If you are strangers, or it's the first time you meet with each other, you can also use "nin" to refer to the other one. Okay, here are three words. They means you, but they、uh, actually in Chinese they have different meanings. Ni, you singular. Ni men, you plural. Ni also means you, but it's a polite way. Hao, hao, hao is an adjective, means good, fine. Hao, so we can say ni hao, ni hao. If the other are more than two people, we can use 你们好，你们好 If the other is older than you or someone you should show your respect, you can say 您好，您好 Let's get this picture. There are only one girl in this picture, right? So in this case, we can say 你，你 If you want to say hello to her. We can say, 你好，你好 And this picture, how many people are there? Three, right? Okay. So in this case, we should use how to say you. We should use, 你们，你们 If you want to greet with them, we should use, 你们好，你们好 Okay. Now let's get this one. Now he is older than you, right? So in this case, I、uh, like、uh, he he looks like your boss, now someone、uh, older than you or someone you should show your respect. We should use, 您，您，您好，您好 Okay, do you remember them? Let's get this picture. The girl. Did something wrong? 
So, in this case, she wants to say sorry. Sorry in Chinese is 对不起. 对不起. Okay, please read after me. 对不起. 对不起. It means sorry. But her mother says, that's okay. It doesn't matter. So, in Chinese, it is 没关系. 没关系. Please read after me. 对不起. 对不起. 没关系. 没关系. 对不起. Uh, if you did something wrong, you can say 对不起 to apologize to someone. But 对不起, it also means excuse me. Excuse me. 对不起. Okay, these are new words we learned today. Do you remember them? Now, let's read them together. 你 你, 你们, 你们, 您, 您, 好, 好, 对不起, 对不起, 没关系, 没关系, okay, now you can read by yourself. 好, let's do a practice. Please choose the right sentence according to the picture. I will give you some time to do it. The first one, which sentence should they use? Good, we should choose B. 你好, 你好, uh, they meet with each other, so to uh, greet with each other, they should say 你好. 你好, okay. And how about this one? Which sentence is better? Yes, A is right, uh, because there are more than one people. So in this case, we should use 你们, 你们, plural. 你们好, 你们好. How about this one? Let's look at this picture. Uh, they are boyfriend and girlfriend. It looks like that the boy uh, did something wrong. So in this case, he should say, Good. 对不起. 对不起. Okay, very good. This is a new word and expressions we learned today. Now, let's review what we have learned. Today we learned something about Chinese. Like in Chinese, we will learn characters, 汉字, and 拼音. Do you remember, one 拼音 consists of three parts. They are 声母, initial, 韵母, final, and 声调, tongue. 声母, 韵母, 声调. Today we also learned some basic finals. A, O, E, I, U, U, R. We also learned some very basic fi uh, initials. Bo. Po, mo, fo, de, te, ne, le, ge, ke, he. G, 
七、C。Okay, and we also learned four tones. Ah,、uh, first tone, second tone, third tone, and fourth tone. 一声、二声、三声 ，and 四声。Okay, this is what we learned today. Today I will give you a homework. Let's get this table. There are so many、um, uh, syllables. So today's homework is to read all of them. Practice by yourself. Then、uh, next time I will check it. Okay. Next time we will review lesson one and learn some new pinyin and new words, dialogues. Okay. See you. 谢谢 See you next time.